Hello, and welcome to the European Commission Midday Briefing. <laughs> My name is Margaritas Funky Boogaloo Smiley. <laughs> A few notes and clarifications before we crack on with the fun. The Commission would like to congratulate everyone who worked on the COP27 climate change conference. As you will have seen, rich countries, including those in the EU, managed to keep 1.5% of the promises they made to developing nations. <laughs> For those keeping their diaries up to date, COP28 is to be held in the United Arab Emirates, <laughs> as holding major international events in the Gulf states has proven so very popular. <laughs> On a side note, press stories that commissioners, the spokesperson service, directors general, heads of unit, and interpreters traveled by private jet to Sharm El Sheikh are patently untrue. Interpreters flew commercial. Now, these are difficult times for all of us. The war in Ukraine is close to being one year old. We have far-right governments across the block. And the likelihood of a second Donald Trump presidency is growing by the day. All of these issues weigh heavy on the European Commission. So let's talk about the office Christmas party. Um, <laughs> As some of you may know, thanks to Mrs. von der Leyen's predecessor, Mr. Juncker, the Commission has no budget left for alcohol um, <laughs> on its premises until 2040. Um, <laughs> so the party will once again take place at an external location. Last year, it was the exclusive downtown wine bar, Celtica. This year, as the cost of living crisis bites, the venue has been changed to the headquarters of McKinsey. <laughs> I believe Mrs. von der Leyen got a very good deal. Um, incidentally, Belgium's Didier Reinders will be the duty commissioner throughout the San Nicolas festivities to avoid a repeat of the blackface unpleasantness. <laughs> Time for questions, yes. On... On the contrary, um, the Commission was delighted that Viktor Orban was seen wearing a scarf that featured a map of Greater Hungary, um, which includes several EU member states and, much more importantly, Ukraine. It's always nice to see the Hungarian Prime Minister being geographically inclusive. Um, <laughs> as any historians present will know, this area, better known as Translithania, is already a candidate for EU membership, slightly ahead of Albania and North Macedonia. <laughs> Next question. Yes, yes, the EU did indeed launch its first supercomputer, uh, which is called Leonardo. Um, it can conduct trillions of operations per second. Uh, but what I can reveal is that Leonardo is one of four EU supercomputers. Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael <laughs> will be online in the coming days. Um, yes. Yes, the World Cup has proved controversial. Corrupt, stuck in the past, and with a propensity for saying the wrong thing at the wrong time, the Commission would like to offer FIFA some advice. <laughs> um, the world football governing body clearly made a mistake in choosing Qatar, while the EU has an excellent reputation for picking appropriate locations. Having established its Coast Guard agency in Warsaw, some 300 kilometers from the coast. Um, <laughs> the Commission has now drawn up a list of more appropriate venues for future World Cups. Syria, <laughs> Snake Island, <laughs> Wuhan, Azkaban, <laughs> the Gates of Hell, and Luxembourg. Uh, incidentally, you may have heard a recent speech by Gianni Infantino, the president of FIFA, in which he said, today I feel Qatari, I feel Arab, I feel African, I feel gay, I feel disabled, I feel a migrant worker. 
That appears to be an exact copy of a speech that foreign policy chief Joseph Burrell gave to EU ambassadors in October. The commission's legal service has been activated. Um, one last question, yeah. Yes, yes, the commission watches with interest developments at Twitter where Elon Musk appears to have become increasingly unhinged. Um, Commissioner Thierry Breton has been in regular contact with Mr. Musk and I can now read you the following extract from their correspondence. The bird is freed. In Europe, the bird will fly by our rules, hashtag DSA. <laughs> Fuck off, Europe. <clears throat> that, nope. Well, that, that appears, that, that's it? That, that, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, anyway, the European Commission has prepared the following statement on the erosion of freedoms on social media. <clears throat> the European Commission is extremely concerned <laughs> about the erosion of freedoms on social media. <laughs> and that's all from me, thank you very much. <laughs>